All right, moving along now, the mission of the uh, Soweto Rowing Club is simply to encourage the youth from the surrounding communities to get in a boat and start rowing. Members of the club enjoyed an off-season training session at the Orlando Dam in Soweto recently. Whilst the response from the residents uh, has been positive, more than 100 youngsters joining the club this year, their efforts have been crippled by numerous challenges, most notably a lack of resources and funding. Jacob Peeler is the man almost single-handedly behind the Soweto Rowing Club. The nephew of a boatman, Peeler, took over the management of the club in 2008 and he's been the lifeline of the children who row here ever since. Not only is he the head coach and mentor, he also performs all the other duties required to keep the club running, including personally transporting the kids and their equipment. Even though people doesn't really know uh, what it takes to be in the township, and the life that we live in the township. And if you say I'm from Soweto, not everybody will trust that you are a good guy. But trust me, there's not such thing here. We all trying to get everything together. We're washing away the wrongs and bringing the dignity back in to the community and to the country and to the world. There are no facilities available for the rowers at Orlando Dam. There is no boathouse, no change rooms, or even a proper jetty to launch their boats from. The equipment and boats currently being used are the hand-me-downs from other clubs and from donations. And it's becoming increasingly difficult for the talent here to remain competitive. The Friends of the Soweto Rowing Club was recently formed to help the club become more self-sustainable in the long term. It's a group of ordinary South Africans offering their time, expertise and sometimes money. Rowing is a, is a sport that develops kids in terms of uh, teamwork, teaching them how to work together as a team, teaching them respect for each another and also gives them an, an opportunity to be competitive. And I think that's those are competitive very important aspects in, 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 a, in a child's development and this is what Owen does for them and uh, that we want to be part of that. Just to make a difference, we, we're here to make a difference, to help the kids, to give the kids opportunities that for me that we never had when we were growing up and it's to share this experience to other kids, it's great. At least 100 children from as young as 10 years old from the surrounding areas have participated in rowing in Orlando this year, including Pimville, Meadowlands and Clipsprate. Pila is ably assisted by 22-year-old Kakiso Moimise, who has been part of the club since 2008. Jacob just came to uh, our school at, at Tutolori, then we started there at Zone 2, swimming, starting to practice how to swim, then we just jumped into so, so it all went club. When was that? It was 2008, yeah. And just you've been doing it ever since? Ever. Yeah. And forever. Is this going to be your future? One you're way. Going to, you're going to be Jacob one day? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Teenager Siabulela Mibala is one of Soweto's brightest young growing stars right now. He won gold at the recent Gauteng Championships in the under 15 division and he has his sights set on a sportsman's ultimate dream. In the next two years, I want to see myself in the Olympics. Ruin, uh, Rowing like yeah, as the best second man, black man in the history, because like black men are not like yeah, taking participate in, in sports like this ones. Like almost all of them, they are going for soccer. So as I am, I want to go and represent my nation. Yeah. Pila also wants his rowers to make the national squad. Another priority for him, though, is getting more young women involved in the sport. If we can get one of the boys in the national squad, that will be the biggest achievement. And the other thing is if we can get the girls, if I can have a steady uh, a crew of girls who rows and no problems. That will be another way um, achievement because we're battling. We're battling with girls. Yes, and we really need to get them to be involved. Squeeze those legs on the football, buddy. 
Despite the challenges, Pila's joy is seeing these children give their best on the water and is appealing to members of the community to get involved. So financially, we need help. Um, fleets, boats, trailers. And don't forget, we also need help from everybody to bring their kids. This is their spot and this project is for Soweto. Anybody must come, bring their kids, doesn't matter how many. We will just divide them into groups and accommodate everybody. Members of the Soweto Rowing Club will be back in training at the Orlando Dam in early January, ahead of a national regatta at Germiston Lake at the end of the month. Samantha Mari, SABC News, Orlando Dam, Soweto.